be coached properly, she could have probably been a really successful actress. Or at least, you know, a passable actress as far as Hollywood. James Mansfield talking but, about kind of Pamela Anderson her, acting. Like, it always I remember her on like Tim the Tool Man Taylor, Taylor Home Improvement. I remember that girl. I'm the same age as James, I think. Ever be I might be older. I don't know. I beg to differ. Like, again, had she been coached properly, she probably could have been steered a different direction than, like, I like you know, James Mansfield's wig videos because he's so freaking knowledgeable. His references, he knows so much about, like, queer gay iconography. He knows a lot of vintage things. on her channel, Movie Nights, and that's one of my favorite movies growing up. I watch it all the time, even though. It was wildly inappropriate for me to be watching. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like the Casablanca remake that no one asked for. And Bogey and a Bustier. He talks about like Lily James Bart being um, Pam Anderson in the newer film. To have a comic book movie. Or it's like chill. Take that, Black Widow. Now, these kind of 90s hairstyles are sort of like playoffs of the 1980s. Like the 1980s women had hair similar to this, only it was mm. way bigger and mm. usually cropped a little shorter. Mm. Like heavy metal hair. Uh, in the you ever 90s, eat food and you're like, yes, yeah, I got to twerk. Like old mm. Hollywood, but meets the 90s. Mm. Like all the supermodels wow, wow, wow. had hair like this with the blonde hair with the root coming in. And Pamela is no exception because she was being molded a lot after that. I need those hair rollers. That kind of, it's like a, it's a hair roller with like bristles and you stick a pin into it. That's the I love about the 90s style. You look at like Fran Drescher and the nanny and like all these people. I love the nanny. At the time, they were Mr. Sheffield. really beautiful. Usually doing I don't even know their names. Like Julie Nigel. Brown, Judy Tenuta, and B B C Babcock or C C Babcock. Uh, I've been following Pamela's career for a long time from like all the playboys. Even when she was on like, you know, home improvement. She was a If I did a snatch jam game, I game, I tried to be free and dress her. Ma around late enough. We're Jewish, we're high them. Probably they would show the episodes with Pamela in it. And like boys took me back, like she was in this? Yeah, honestly, I'm just adding a little Permatease a volume to this because Pamela Anderson had huge hair. Like, that was a really big part of her persona. Was like, you know, a very, very manicured supermodel look, like smoky eye with the lined lips and pink, you know, boobies. And boobies. something really revealing and pretty, like usually a sequin mini dress or something. And huge hair. All right, I'm going to tease the rest of this off camera and we'll get into VIP, my very favorite Pamela Anderson era. <laughs> All right, we're back. It is all teased out. You can tease the bangs that I curl. Now I have to start smoothing it out somewhat and finding some organization in this chaos. 